QC Story, November 2012. Good day, my name is John Palmerton, professional lens surveyor. I'm a facilities layout engineer for Nissan Facilities, Utilities, and Environmental Group in Canton, Mississippi, United States. My QC Story issue deals with methods of maintaining data and drawings of existing facility infrastructure required for planning, maintenance, and repair operations. The issue. There's an opportunity to improve the efficiency and response time from facilities, utilities, and engineering. The reason, the current system for organizing data that tracks Nissan Canton's facility evolution will be redefined as a vital standalone tool that is accessible, efficient, and legacy transcendent. Current condition, QC Story Step 2. Facilities receives requests daily for information including the following. Number one, existing conditions information. Number two, modification of existing conditions. Three, studies for improvement of problem areas. And four, estimated costs. Our current and historical facility infrastructure information, including as-built and project cost tracking, right now has to be mined from multiple departments, people, drives, people's memories. It's very difficult to acquire or it does not exist at all in some cases. A past project element database, something that has organizes and tracks, indexes all of our projects. An accurate facility as built of the plant uh, does not exist at all. This slide shows our current condition. The areas that are in color that stand out are accurate because I've measured them and know they are. Of all those places that I've measured so far, when I compare them to our existing drawings, none of them are up to date. So the goals are to organize and provide a visually based portal for Nissan engineers and managers to access current as-built facility, process, utility, mechanical, and environmental structure with object linking to folders containing plans, specifications, and associated costs. QC Story Step 4, Analyze the Situation. Access to valid facility information in a timely manner is a fundamental requirement of facilities. A current graphical overall layout of the plant does not exist. The plant is a system that physically changes and evolves daily. Facilities, Utilities, and Environmental Group does not currently have available tools or resources to gather, verify, and update critical data in a timely manner. So what resources are available in the industry that are already proven to increase the value of our capabilities? I'm going to introduce some buzzwords. BIM, which is short for Building Information Modeling. It's also known as Building Information Management. They go hand in hand, but they are two distinct things. 3D phase and pulse scanning and point clouds. So some simple definitions are BIM, merging CAD drawings and project databases into a Google Earth type browser that you can hold the mouse button down and swipe back and forth, zoom in, zoom out, click on things and get information about that thing. Here's a short video courtesy of Autodesk that explains it way better than I can. For architects, engineers, and construction professionals, it's critical to have the best possible information about a project to make the right decisions. Important shifts in the industry are happening. Yesterday's disconnected ways of working are in the past. Today, new efficiencies are being realized. Thanks to Building Information Modeling, BIM. BIM is the creation and use of coordinated, consistent information about a project. Information that enables you to visualize designs in context, accurately predict performance, analyze real-world structural behavior, and make design decisions earlier in the process, all before the project breaks ground, helping thousands of architecture, engineering, and construction professionals streamline the way they work increase productivity, and create high-quality projects by pushing the design boundaries and ultimately gaining a competitive advantage. Autodesk, experience the power of BIM. The second group of buzzwords is 3D phase and pulse scanning. It's basically a survey instrument that can take 120,000 shots a second and it reaches all the way up to the ceiling. 
and you set it up at several angles and it generates a 3D drawing down to the screw of everything it sees in its path. So FUE should be able to provide valid information in a timely manner as requests are received. The plant has undergone multiple changes since it was first built. Facility structures ranging from pits, walls, offices, power and air supplies, lights, drains, water lines, and structural steel, just to name a few, have been constructed or demolished at multiple times and locations. Contrary to assumptions, an overall plant drawing reflecting the current condition, or even an acceptably recent one, does not exist. The only comprehensive drawings electronically available are the original construction plans. Since March, well over 100 changes of various locations and proportions within the plant layout have occurred as part of new expansion. So during that process of verification for plan drawings, comparison between actual measurements and dimensions on existing drawings rarely match. Instead of square feet, square inches of available space now have significance as evidenced in many recent plant layout changes. Successful project planning, design, and management begins with a good grip of what you've got, what you want, and what you can reasonably do with what you've got in order to get what you want. The grip means good data, readily available. What you want requires defining priorities based on the best available information. Unexpected costs associated with rapid expansions or as much a result of inadequate existing condition data to design form as it is a result of oversight errors attributed to time restrictions. Much of this can be avoided in the future if as-built data is available and easily updatable to plan with. Further cost savings will be achieved by having available tools to easily identify and incorporate remnant structures into some designs. Recognize that the significant issue here of clash detection will only increase as we continue to grow within the same cubic space. The value of adding the ability for engineers to visualize options real time in three dimensions at once cannot be understated. The last buzzword definition, point clouds. Software infers shapes from all those thousands and millions of shots that that scanner gets and it's a point cloud, like you take a handful of sand and throw it in the air and, and freeze it in time. And then based on all these little points, the software renders a measurable and editable three-dimensional model in a navigable CAD environment in full color. Watch. Now that you've seen it, of course, from a management standpoint, 3D scanning offers a myriad of decision-making opportunities to have that godlike perspective looking down through the plant. But for facilities, it, it is simply a tool for the bigger picture here on the action plan, QC story step number five, which is to establish a building information modeling and management system with these good tools, documentation practices, and almost automated procedures. This will result in a valuable repository of visual plant data linked to related database information. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of what it'll take to make this happen. The 3D scanner is great. And from a management standpoint, there are probably all kinds of other ideas that you can come up with of how this can benefit you. From a facility standpoint, it is a tool toward the bigger picture of creating this building information model. So what we're looking at is a $59,000 expenditure, and that includes the scanner and the software to do the rendering, 3D point plant, which is designed for facilities. Then three days of training, in the meantime, the plan is to standardize and organize existing facility electronic data into a visual interactive portal. This will improve the access to information for better decision making. And then once we get the scanner, I will move that information gathering resource into the 3D environment once we get things scanned. That's going to take a little longer. Once we get the scanner, it will take some time to get everything scanned, but we will have everything scanned and it'll be a 
Simply a matter of maintenance after that. QC Story Step 6, Develop and Implement Countermeasures. The value of access to current and accurate as-built data can't be calculated. The obvious key to this is maintenance. Successful implementation will depend on ease of use, attrition and disaster demands it should be free of legacy assumptions. This investment will be most effective if clear, convenient, conceptually simplistic standards for file and drawing data management are already in place. This must include a project closeout checklist process that guarantees that all documentation is copied, organized, and complete. The final step of the checklist process shall ensure that this data is linked in the facility's database. Reflect on wisdom you have achieved from past experiences. Building information modeling and management creates a visual portal to access and share gained knowledge. In the event of an accident or natural disaster, there is currently no snapshot of any particular area of the plant that could be used to identify what is lost and the subsequent steps to get back to a functioning condition quickly. As practical as insurance, having an exact replica or digital copy of the plant that is updated continually could prove, in certain circumstances, to be priceless. It is too expensive to contract a survey grade as built for every single design project. Change orders due to unidentified conflicts can be reduced when the availability of immediate high quality as built data is no longer cost prohibitive. The cost for this tool set is negligible compared to its ability to enhance facilities, utility, and environmental groups' ability to investigate quality, save time and cost, and discover novel ways to monitor and improve safety and environmental opportunities at Canton Nissan. QC Story Final Step Number 8 Standardize and Select Future Actions Taking advantage of industry-tested and proven building information modeling and management practices will demonstrate the Canton plant as a model for modern sister facilities to use these new tools to effectively do a lot more with a little less. 2012 has been a very significant year for major advancements in manufacturing technology. They range from pneumatically powered and lightweight wearable body assist mechanisms to supply chain robotics that can be programmed simply using an Xbox Connect and using it to watch a human worker perform a repetitive task. Recent advances in 3D printing are now allowing for multi-material components to be created and printed layer by layer real time. This will soon enable even individual car dealerships to realize themselves as part of the manufacturing process when they can print in-house physical fascia, body, and interior options according to the whims of their customers on the spot. So as the future races toward our present, 3D scanning and building information modeling and management are two very effective tools to enhance both short and long-range dynamic planning in the automotive industry. Thank you very much for your time.